Okay, good everyone. So I just migrated the server from our first hosting to a bigger server. That's because I felt, I mean, people would want their bots to be very, very responsive. So the way I did the OK bot is, let's say for instance, let me show you something first. This now for instance, it's, this is a, a like a bot. I just switched on the bot not too long. Um, hold on, let me refresh it. So this right here now is a bot. If I go to my active, you see there is a bot called bot002, which is this one. So let me switch it off so I can show you what I'm trying to say. So it's going to shut that browser down now. Okay, good. So practically on my own OKEG bot account, you can also do that as well. I have lots of bots. On each of these bots, I've logged into like a Gmail. So let's say, for instance, I'm going to turn on those bots again from the beginning so you understand. I'm going to turn this bot on, and I'm also going to turn this other bot on. So I'm ticking these two bots, and I'll put them on. Bot 002 and bot 003. Okay, this one is coming on. You see how fast it is now <laughs> within a second i love that that's the benefit of having a bigger server i just migrated the server okay so these are like the two browsers i had switched on i will go to google on each of them so i'll show you what i mean by bot state so you can see this is the bots this is um an email okay bot3 at gmail.com this gmail was logged into this ok bot also if i go to youtube also if i go to youtube you will see the bot is also logged in on youtube so this means this particular bot is logged in to google now let's go to this other bot You can see this other bot is also logged in. This one is OKBot2 at Gmail. The other one is OKBot3, I presume. Let me confirm. Let me go to Google again from here. Okay, this is OKBot3 and this is OKBot2. Okay, bot so now if i want to let's i want to make a google search let's i want to make this bot make a google search um i can go and i can go create a task the task could be uh anything so i'll make mine to make a google search so i'm going to head over to tools click on google tools on google tools search for search for nigeria top software developers i'm using one hand to hold my phone they don't want to type so sorry if the thing is shaking okay nigeria top software developers 2022 and i'm going to do 45 to 60 so this means i want the search to be within 45 seconds to um what was it called again for five seconds to 60 seconds i'll add this to the um, list of tasks so i just want only one task so i'm going to save this task i will call it search so i'll call it search and i'll save the task you see how fast it is benefit of using a very good server okay so next i'm going to give those bots we created that task so we um like have two bots running uh, is it one okay it's two this one is here this is the first bot um it has okay bot two on it oh sorry we get okay bot three on it this is the second one it has okay bot two on it so i'm going to head over to the active section and i would tick this bot which is the okay bot 3 
okay boss 2 and I'll choose this um, task let's say search and I'll send the request so I'll send the request now see they will all be making Google search let me shift this other one so you can see it let's see this one has typed the first one this other one same thing let me so you see, you see so they're both typing but i mean this could be like 200 bots it could be like 300 bots right so i'm just showing you like what i mean by it saves every single thing let me prove it to you if i come back here now let's say i go back to google and i try to check what i've searched for before on google you will see that everything i've searched for on google is here if i see come here again and scroll up um I'm trying to okay. let me go to Google and if I check here you would see all my search history so basically anything I do on a particular browser if I make a Google search if I go to YouTube and I watch a YouTube video whatever I practice it has finished this task Whatever I practically do with any single bot, that whole history, just like imagine you have lots of Google profile, like on my computer, and I think I have so many Google accounts here. So if I want to, uh, let me just open a new window. Okay, so let me open this now. You can see I have so many Google accounts, right? So each of these, my Google profile has, you know, some information, the email I'm logged in, what I've been searching, my search history. You know my browser history local storage cookies cash you know you get the check so that is what i did on okay but as well so that's why it can bypass virtually all detection systems because each time it comes back it builds that credibility that consistency and the detection systems are like okay wow this is really true this is really this is like a real human being so on okay but you are advised to create so many tasks like google searches it should go um visit numerous websites let's assume you do things about scholarship insurance or whatever niche you're actually doing you should make the bot do so many tasks like that a normal human being would right um make your own research what other websites talk about the things you talk about so the bot can also visit those websites i know it's going to be annoying you're giving them free traffic but i mean it's something you have to actually do to make them look legitimate if not you would have issues with detection systems because if a bot just does one particular thing or does like certain kind of fixed tax it's a problem they'll get you caught like if all you do is if all your bot does is to go to your website or watch your youtube videos then you you're already you're already caught because i mean it's behavioral an analysis says uh, when a particular uh, line of action is being carried out by a particular entity which could be like a user a human being but in our own section now it's a bot so when a particular action is being repeated by it the behavior analysis says that it could be red flagged as an automated tax or a tax that has been executed maliciously for instance it could be human beings actually clicking on advertisements trying to inflict the statistics it could be an automated script doing this and the person doesn't even know that something is running on the background or it could be bots so one rule of bypassing detection is make sure your behavior analysis can be executed in such a way that it does so many other things that cannot be visited to just one thing meaning do plenty things to make you not just be to they come your website they come your youtube so that is part of why i created this activity chain so every single person could have these tools and easily build up lots of activities that bypasses all detection so we have your cookies you have your local storage everything is saved and backed up the bot itself already bypasses detection to a great extent so now i've moved on to a bigger server so that's congratulations to us it means your bot will be faster yep so that's the update for today this is daniel kirk